U-Level Hardscape Leveling System App Operation. First we're going to connect the level to the app. I turn the level on. I'll hold the zero depth power to give you the Bluetooth icon. Now we're going to start the app. These two will connect automatically if they have ever connected before. If you just downloaded the app, they may not know each other and you may have to go in and connect them through the generic name. I'm going to turn the Bluetooth off. We're going to go into the Bluetooth scanner now. It's looking but not finding anything. We're going to turn on the Bluetooth again. Now the Laird BL652 is the generic name for our Bluetooth transmitter. If they've never been connected before, you'll just have to go in and tap this. Now they know each other. From now on, whenever you turn them on or off, they will automatically look for each other. But if you have any questions or problems whatsoever, tap those three buttons go into the Bluetooth scanner and look for this generic name to connect them initially. Now you can also press to start scanning for levelers if they happen to lose the signal if you get uh, 150 foot apart and they lose the signal and, the, and they haven't connected when you got them back together you can also t tap this and they'll start looking for each other again and reconnect also. Now I'm going to turn this off again What I want to show you is the version firmware that we're running. Once I turn the level on, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the version firmware and the level. Now, this level is actually, there's an industrial computer in the U-Level itself. That is the firmware or software that it is running, just like uh, Windows uh, version 10 or what have you. It's, it's almost identical, except it's in an industrial computer. Now, that is the firmware that's in the level itself. In your app, there are different versions of the app, of course. Bottom left-hand side, you can see where it says version 1.641. That's the version app that we're running. So you need to know the difference. Now, in order to upload the latest version to the U-Level, you will have to go through the app. So that's a little confusing. If you have any uh, questions about that, just shoot me an email.